social choice. This section starts with the general social choice problem and continues with the, the strategic approach to it. The main message conveyed is that there are unavoidable underlying difficulties. We phrase things in the commonly used terms of uh, political elections. But the reader should keep in mind that the issues are abstract and apply to general social choice. Condorcet's paradox. Consider an election with two candidates, where each voter has a preference for one of them. If uh, society needs to jointly choose one of the candidates, intuitively it is clear that taking a majority vote would be a good idea. But what happens if there are three candidates? In 1785, the Marquis the Condorcet pointed out that the natural application of majority is problematic. Consider three candidates, A, B, and C, and three voters with uh, the following preferences. One, A is greater than B greater than C. Two, the second voter, B is greater than C greater than A. Three, the third voter, C is greater than A, greater than B. The notion A greater than B, I, means that voter I prefers candidate A to candidate B. Now, notice that a majority of voters, one and three, prefer candidate A to candidate B. Similarly, a majority one and two prefers B to C, and finally, a majority two and three prefers C to A. The joint majority choice is thus A greater than B greater than C greater than A, which is not consistent. In particular, for any candidate that is jointly chosen, there will be a majority of voters who would want to change the chosen outcome. This immediately tells us that in general social choice, cannot be taken simply by the natural system of taking a majority vote. Whenever there are more than two alternatives, we must decide some more complex voting method to undertake a social choice.